Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine. And in today's video, as you can tell, we are going to attempt on making cauliflower wings. So I've never made wings in general, so this is going to be pretty interesting, but I'm excited to see how it turns out. So let's get right into the video, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some ingredients that we are going to need. Okay, so first off, we obviously need the cauliflower because what are cauliflower wings without cauliflower? Okay, so I found the the recipe the video okay so i'm gonna link it down below in case y'all want to follow it but let's get started so it's by what's for din that is what the youtube channel is called so we're gonna go ahead and see what we can do i'm a little scared a little scared hey guys so i changed my shirt because i didn't want to get the other one dirty and it's black, so you would see the stains a lot more. So, <laughs> anyways, so I have a little problem. I have a little problem. So, this recipe calls for unsweetened almond milk. Wait, we have regular almond milk, just original, not vanilla, not unsweetened, just regular almond milk. And not only that, but I don't have onion powder. I, uh, like, I was at the store the other day, I could have gotten it. And then for the flour, for the flour guys, it calls for rice flour. I have regular flour. No, I don't think that's gonna make a huge difference. I'm not too sure, but we're gonna find out. So this video, I just wanna let you know, it's not an informative video, it's just a fun video. Just a video that we're just gonna try doing. Just, it may be a flop, but it's okay. All for the content. Okay, okay guys, we all know what's going on in the world, so I'm gonna wipe this down. I just bought it. Use your handy dandy Clorox wipe once you get things from the store. And just wipe it down, wipe it down. No, because we can't risk anything here. We cannot risk anything. This was new too. You know what? Now it's time to wash our hands. Yeah. So I have the paprika powder, I have the garlic, cumin, salt and pepper, <laughs> the almond milk, and the cauliflower. So we're going to go ahead and cut up this bad boy and try to make these wings. Because we didn't get started, man. I keep talking. We don't want to hear this. We do not want to hear this. Got my handy dandy cut. It just hit my finger. I just smashed my finger. I'm always doing something. I won't be surprised if I cut my finger off. Literally, I won't be surprised. Okay. <laughs> and now we've got the knife to cut my finger off. I'm totally kidding because we're not going to do that. Okay. We have to be careful. Okay. We don't want to cut anything. <sighs> so that reminds me of a time. Let me just talk to y'all while I am doing this. So the other day, or the other week, I was making a smoothie. Oh, this has so much dirt. That is nasty. So I was making the smoothie and I freaking, can you know, I got, I can't even think, I can't multitask. Can any of y'all multitask? Cause it's all hand and that's pretty dope. So like I said, I was making a smoothie and I put my finger inside the smoothie because I was trying to get a date out and I was trying to cut it up but <laughs> the power button was on so I almost, almost chopped my hand up in a blender almost but I didn't so thank the lord but what I did do is I cut my finger on the blade in the blender so that really did hurt and let's just say that wasn't a smart decision so don't do that. This is a big head of cauliflower. I've never cut cauliflower before because I don't like it. Cauliflower is nasty. You guys, the heck, man? Am I just supposed to like pull it apart? Oh God, I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. Okay, okay. Uh, mm, that stinks. Oh my gosh. Well, I hope this tastes good because 
I'm not a fan of cauliflower, but I am a fan of broccoli. I love broccoli, it's my favorite vegetable. But cauliflower is not my thing. I don't vibe with it. It's not my go-to. Okay guys, so I just finished cutting and washing and drying the cauliflower wings. And now it's time to make it's time to make the batter. So let me see. What did she use? So we are going to need identical. Sometimes I have smaller pieces. We want them about this size and then that would be perfect. So now moving on to what we're gonna dump them in to make the breading. So I have some almond flour. Okay, I don't know if you guys heard that, but she said almond flour. Okay, okay. As you can remember, <laughs> I don't have the almond flour. A rice flour. She meant rice flour. She did. As you can see, rice flour. I don't know if you can see, but it's one cup of flour, half a cup of almond milk unsweetened, two tablespoons of garlic powder, two tablespoons of onion powder, <laughs> paprika, cumin, salt, and black pepper. So let's go ahead and start doing this. So let me see, a cup of flour. Oh, this is heavy. This is really heavy. It doesn't look heavy, but it's actually very heavy. Okay, so I'm just gonna start opening this. A cup of almond milk, unsweetened, but we don't have that. We only have original, so. I mean, I don't think it's gonna make a huge difference, because personally, I think vanilla is sweet, I think original is nasty, and I think unsweetened is even nastier. So, let's see how this goes. Gonna get it exactly, oh. It's freaking squirted, it's splashed everywhere. Oh my gosh. That's just, this is just horrible. This is just a flop already. Half a cup of almond milk. One fourth cup of water. We gotta get that H2O, H2O. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use my handy dandy gallon of water that I use every morning to, Fourth cup of water. Okay, so I already have all the spices in there, everything except for the freaking onion powder. Now I'm gonna whisk this bad boy. Let's see if I can see that. Maybe. Oh, it's so thick. Is this supposed to be thick? Well, this is super thick. Maybe I didn't do something right. I've added more water. It looks a lot better now. Like. It's not thick, it's a little, it's not too runny. I think it's actually perfect. So this is the finished result. Okay guys, so these are the cauliflower wings. I already put the sauce on them. So they're looking pretty good. Now it's time to pop them in the oven. Okay guys, so now we're going to make the uh, sauce for the wings. So she says to use one tablespoon of vegan butter. I think something just spilled my toe. And then we're gonna use half a cup of hot sauce and half a cup of barbecue sauce or whatever is your preference. Okay, so now the sauce is done and it looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and check up on the wings. Okay, so now I'm gonna flip the wings. Oh, that's hot. Okay, that is hot. Oh my gosh. You're so <laughs> Tell you guys, I'm always freaking doing something. 
always. <gasps> Why is one half like covered with sauce and the other is not? I think the heat from the wings just freaking, oh my God, it made the alarm go off. Like it was going off and it was beeping. And I'm just like, yo, I hope the fire department is gonna come. <laughs> Cause my boyfriend, he freaking like goes to the fire department. Like, oh my God, he's calling, he's calling. Okay guys, so I'm gonna take out the wings once again. So I didn't get to update y'all because my phone died, but I put sauce on them, put them back in the oven, and now we're gonna check it out. I'm recording this because uh, <laughs> In case something happens, like the alarm goes off again, y'all will witness it. I'm a little scared though. Okay guys, so I just got done with the wings and they look phenomenal. They look so good and they taste really good. I already tasted one. So this video wasn't that big of a flaw. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my video. It really means a lot to me. And if you stay to the end, thank you. I know this video was kind of hectic and chaotic and a little crazy. But that's what content is for. Anyways, if I get at least a few likes, this video wouldn't be a flop. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all next time.